Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. Let's get right into it. First, the drama I've talked about last time, Under the Skin, Lie Zui Tu Jian, has aired according to schedule, and this has officially become Avenue X's 2022 first shippable drama. I've already edited a small video, I only put on Billy Billy, um, it's tiny, so. I have at least three more videos planned in my head already, but I may not get to make all of them, depends on time and stuff. I'm very happy about its existence. It's by no means the greatest drama out there, and it's only 20 episodes in entirely, and they've already aired 14 in the first week. Next week it's gonna be done. So I will go straight into making a final review after the last episode. And I'm pretty sure because of how short the airing time of this drama is, it's not gonna get too much popularity. But pretty much everybody <laughs> uh, that I follow on social media who has watched this drama really liked it. I didn't expect the two leads actually work off a really interesting chemistry. Particularly as the story develops, it gets better. So if shipping is your thing and you haven't found one yet in 2022 from Chinese drama land, this is a good choice. And I really, really appreciate Tan Jianzi's performance. I think after watching the first four episodes of his performance in this drama, I was like, I just want to shop along now, <laughs> now, I can't wait. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know I have I have special photo for Tan Jianzi due to personal uh, experience. Can't wait for the day that he becomes big and popular. He deserves it. God knows. It's been so long. It should have happened a long time ago, but hey, never too late. Moving on to talk about other dramas. <laughs> First, a drama went live on March the 10th. So literally just went live on Tencent. It is a contemporary drama led by Huang Zitao and Song Zuar called Ai, Legally Romance. Chinese title means don't want to have a relationship with my boss. So with that in mind, plus the Legally Romance English title, it already spoils the drama for you. It happens at a law firm and Huang Zitao is the boss. Song Zuar is the employee. Cannot be more explicit. I've watched 80% of first episode and I cannot form an opinion yet based on what I've watched too little, but I do have to say I love the look of it. It looks very serious, proper, rich color, high contrast, gritty skin texture, like it doesn't make people look like cheap idol drama. And both leads look really good with that lens and filter, so at least visually. It's pretty satisfying. Let's move on to talk about the next one, a drama that has just announced it's gonna go live on March the 17th. It's a contemporary drama again called Xinju. Life is a long quiet river led by Hai Qing, Tong Yao, Zhang Songwen, Feng Shaofeng. And the story based on the trailer is talking about mainly two women. Hai Qing is a woman who marries into a big city's family from a more remote place. She becomes the sister-in-law of Tong Yao, marrying Tong Yao's brother. And Tong Yao is the city-born big metropolis girl. And most of the conflict happens around this sister-in-law relationship. Then there is a drama that is likely to go live also in March, highly likely on Youku plus satellite television, although they haven't announced the date yet looking promising called Jian, Master of My Own, another contemporary drama led by Lin Gengxin and Tan Songyun in a way very similar to the Huang Zitao and Song Zuar drama where the guy is kind of the boss and the girl is the assistant. In this drama, the setting changes from legal firm to venture capital company. Dramas tend to cluster, hey? And Lin Gengxin is the great investor and Tan Songyun is his assistant, but the assistant has more ambition. So she eventually quit the job, went to another firm, and started her own investing career and got really successful. And Tan Songyun, I am not worried about her acting at all as an actress. She definitely can hold down this type of role. As for Lin Gengxin, more question marks based on the couple of dramas he's done in recent years. And the overall kind of like given up on trying harder as an actor attitude of his. Fingers crossed, this one wouldn't crash. Now let's move on to talk about a couple of other dramas at different stages of production. First dramas that have wrapped. Number one, Man Chang de Ji Jie. No official English title yet. Chinese translation would mean long season. I'm really excited about this project and I haven't heard about it <laughs> before. It's a 12 episode short thriller, mystery drama, very light on, right? And then when you hear the director, 
Xin Shuang, who is the director of The Bad Kids. You're like, oh my god, is that another light on drama? No, it's from Tencent. Remember, Zi Jingchen, the author of the two original novels of these two dramas, moved to a different platform. And then the director of Bad Kids used to work with Aichi now moved to Tencent. <laughs> I feel like uh, Aichi is bleeding like crazy of resources, people, and money. This drama started shooting last year in November and it has just wrapped. And then when you look at the casting, it's like, oh, I cannot miss this drama. When it airs, I have to like stare at it <laughs> because it's led by Fan Wei, Qing Hao, Ren Su Xi, Zhang Jingchu, Li Gengxi, Shi Pengyuan, Liu Yi, Tie Li Gan. It cannot get better than this, hey? Qing Hao, Shi Pengyuan from The Bad Kids, Ren Su Xi, goddess actress level, Zhang Jingchu, She's famous, okay. Li Gengxi, not bad for her age. And then Fan Wei, if you don't know about him, he usually shows up in comedy, but he's when he needs to be serious, he's like bloody good. Liu Yitie, a drama that has just finished airing, Chao Yue, the skating drama I made a video about. He is one of the actors who played the 1990s line. Athlete, really good actor. Li Gan from Reset the policeman that made everybody not like him in the beginning and liked him a lot later. <laughs> Look at this cast. There's like, I have to watch this drama when it airs, I don't care. And I sincerely, sincerely, 100% fingers crossed, hope this is a good, interesting thriller. Then the other one that has wrapped also during this week is a period drama called Wei Yo An Xiang Lai. No English title yet. It's based on an internet novel called Xi Qianhua and it's led by Zhou Ye and Wang Xingyue. If you've watched Word of Honor and One and Only last year, you'll know these two, who they are. The story itself, the novel, is about a contemporary person who traveled into a like a novel like ancient time and got stuck in a woman's body who is in the most undesirable conditions imaginable and has to fight her way through. I don't know if this drama is actually gonna take out the travel part out of it and just go straight into a period drama setting. Haven't read the novel either, but I've heard this is a really torture heavy romantic story. Moving on to the next piece of news about dramas that have started shooting first. Also during this week, another drama based on an IP novel has started shooting called Zhizi Jiang Hu Meng, English title Love and Sword. And it's a period setting romantic comedy drama. <laughs> That's how they call it. And it's from Tencent. So think about all Tencent produced period setting romantic comedy drama. You already get a feel of what it will look like, what kind of sets, costume it will have, what kind of vibe it will have almost. And the leading man is Gao Weiguang <laughs> and leading woman, Xuan Lu. They've been around both for a long time and somehow I never picture them together. It's an interesting combination. I would be curious to see a CP made up with these two, how it's gonna work out. The next one, probably a lot of people will be anticipating a lot. Seemingly, they're aiming at actually chucking this one out at the end of this year, last quarter. Gong Su Jing Ying, no English title yet either, but the title actually means prosecution elite. So contemporary drama first, then about prosecutors. And this drama is led by Di Li Reba and Tong Da Wei and many other people. Tencent drama, also produced by Zui Gao Jian, which is China's Supreme Prosecution Bureau Office or Procuratorate. Like that word, I can never pronounce it, but that's what it means. Let's hope 2022 we can get a good prosecution drama and you know, Didi Reba and Tong Da Wei, another very interesting pairing of actors that somehow I just never picture them as belonging to the same universe. Now, to wrap up today's <laughs> video, during this week, another interesting thing just happened, which is Xu Weizhou announced on Weibo that he's married. He put this photo out of his hand and another woman's hand holding their marriage certificate. Right after that happened, a lot of long buried materials and videos on set stuff happened during the shooting of Addicted, exploded over <laughs> Weibo. Definitely people did it intentionally and wow, some of that was like beyond our expectation, let's just say. Personally, because I wasn't really a fan of that drama or the CP at all. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> no emotional reaction. But for people who genuinely shipped that drama that many years ago, it probably is a really complicated mixed 
feeling and with internet there's no expiration date but on the positive end of the whole thing it just shows if you can live long enough 活久见, you'll be able to see something <laughs> so for everybody who's still waiting for the uh, raw footage of on-set stuff of Guardian that's supposedly there's a hard drive that has like a couple of T's of <laughs> raw footage that's still hidden in this production office let's just stay healthy stay fit stay positive in this shitstorm filled world that every day looks like the end of earth who knows one day down the road maybe many decades later that hard drive is gonna get lost and get stolen and get accidentally extracted and its information got put on the internet we will see our dream of youth coming back to life <laughs> oh <laughs> so dramatic so that will be the end of this video thank you for watching avenue x i'll see you in my next video meanwhile live long and happy drama watching